which one do you think is a better way of practice random top like random practice in increasing order of difficulty or something like that or top wise practice what which one would you prefer to improve yeah so that's a standard question but i don't have a standard answer for that so what you should do i mean the indian gods is to stop learning things so what i say with a big please is stop learning guys i saw indian guys who know some data structures i don't know but they can't solve super easy problems so first thing is stop learning things and there so instead of learning things what you should do there are very simple topics that if you learn you can advance to first division and when you went to first division you can start learning things that's okay but but still learn things slowly so there are something like 5 to 10 very basic topics you should learn like basic db binary research like easy divide and conquer something like that that they, they can and with very good implementation and ad hoc uh, problem solving that can make you first division uh, coder, right? Almost everyone's goal is just to go into division one, not even going farther. So if that's your goal, it's not learning things. That's the first. Yeah. Uh, what uh, I recommend is. So, so the, 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 for sure, the best way to grow in computer programming is having someone who guides you. So he understands that at some point you you need more focus on global topic. And also he sometimes understands that you need to focus on implementation and so on. So if you have someone that can help you, that's the best case. So uh, I, I don't uh, go into it. But in a vice versa case, what you should do uh, is being very slow in learning algorithms. And then after you learn some algorithm, solve a few problems of it, like five, it, it depends. In some topics, you can't find a lot of problems. So if you go ruin all of them, you won't have any other problem. Like divide and conquer is like that. There are not that much problems. So for divide and conquer, go solve just three problems and then leave it. But keep some problems and make a problem bank for yourself of problems that you know that you already know their topic, but you don't know which topic they belongs to. And this bank has enough problems for next two to three months of your practice. So every day, every, every, uh, Time you want to practice you pick a random problem you know that you already learned what is inside but you don't know exactly what it likes because if you already know the idea that problem won't help you a lot actually it just helps you in making sure you understand and also it helps you in implementation that's great like some algorithms are like you need to implement five six times to understand what is happening like for example, the sparse table, like a uh, harder example is sent for it. But when then you, uh, when you are done, you know that you know the implementation, they leave and put the problem in the problem buying and shuffle them randomly every time, some random problem and do that.